Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so we are back on House Flipper today. Uh, back in the uh, first office. So I have discovered, um, and I'm slightly disappointed by this, but that you can't do the stripes thing that I was doing. So you can't do um, sort of partial colours. It kind of, uh, it just doesn't consider that to be painted at all when you load back into the save. Which is a bit of a shame, which means the kids' bedroom that we did in the uh, second episode was just ended up not being painted at all. It just ended up with a white wall, a um, pink wall and a white wall. So I did actually end up just putting these in as solid colours, these ones. Um, yeah, and when I loaded back in, uh, the white has reappeared, or the, um, the where I had the kind of half painted there has disappeared completely. So, oh well, we learned something. I mean, obviously what you could do is paint that with a slightly different colour. So you could just buy a lighter shade of orange, but it's just not going to quite do what... It doesn't quite give you the control that I, and the flexibility that I wanted. But never mind. So I think what we're going to do in this episode is we'll probably be doing another bit of this, um, of this office. I think probably this area. Um, we might, I don't know, we might finish this up. I, don't, I still don't think I can do tiling, so um, I, I, I need to get some more jobs done. So let's start off with a job. Uh, and let's see what we've got. So Anthony Gray, walls to knock down. Matt Marlowe, baby on the way. Student's house to clean up. Let me look at this one. So from Nick Flo, good morning. How can you help me? I hope you can help me. I'm retired and not in the best of health. I'm currently, I currently own an apartment that I have been renting for students for many years. This year, unfortunately, I rented to a bad bunch of students, bad students, which turned out not to be the best decision. They didn't pay me. I didn't pay on time, so I went, so I went check things out to check things out. Really. When I opened the door, I almost had a heart attack. The whole house was a pigsty. There was trash liquor, liquor bottles, mud, uh, sorry, and mud everywhere, and they were lying on the kitchen floor drinking. Bloody students. <laughs> when I spoke to them, they rudely told me to go away. I think this guy's probably got a posh accent. I finally got them evicted, but the mess still remains. Some of the furniture and radiators are missing. Can you please clean up my house and make it suitable for my tenants so I can put this mess behind me? Yours sincerely, Nick Flo. Okay, Nick, we'll be right round to sort it all out. So this is, again, in the same creepy neighbourhood. We never actually go anywhere where the house comes to us. I shall have to actually look, but I'm pretty sure the houses are the same. And if they're not the same, then they're very, very similar. One looks quite nice. Okay, we can't jump over this fence. We're trapped in this kingdom. We just Our job is just to clean. It would not, not let us escape. Please. I don't want to be doing this. I want to run free. Anyway. So, yeah, this looks like a bit of a pigsty. Uh, I can hear. Oh, I can see cockroaches as well. Yeah, okay. It's a nice house though. So, are we doing this whole place? Maybe we're doing this whole place. We've got lots of jobs to do by the looks of it. So, hopefully, this will make us a lot of money. So, we come into this strange little hallway, um, and I see rubbish already. So, let's just start. Picking this crap up. And there's a whole load of things. So let's just, I'll probably have a little look round first and then I'll come and do some jobs. I'll get rid of all the rubbish off camera. It's quite a cool little bunk bed though. Students live in a house with bunk beds. Oh, it's not a bunk bed, it's a cabin bed. No, I see haven't looked after this very well at all another little weird hallway 
cockroaches. If you are a person with catsaridarophobia, fear of cockroaches, in the general game options you can change cockroaches into pieces of glass. I oh, know you're alright with that. You're alright with that. So I can hear them scurrying around. The bathroom's not as bad. It's just a bit mucky. The carpet's a bit scabby. How many, like, why have they got so many boxes? Ew. Weird glass partition into the kitchen as well. Hello, cockroaches. Ugh. So if I stand here, will they just, like, get on me, carry me away to the cockroach kingdom? Yeah, these people are disgusting. Disgusting. What's down here? Uh, so this is the bathroom. Do we just have a bathroom over here? Two bathrooms. This is a really weird layout, this house. Another room here. Right. So what I'll probably just do is get rid of all the rubbish. Because um, that's a bit grinding. And I'll bring you back. I mean, I know they're students, but I think these guys have got a bit of a problem. What's actually quite funny as well is that this is all wine. Like, I don't remember drinking quite that much wine when I was a student. And most students have a lot of beer cans as well. Anyway, so that's everything cleaned. Well, all the trash taken out, anyway. Uh, I didn't actually notice this other little weirdy room over here as well. Um, so let's go back to this room look at our tasks. So, this is just got to be painted so I think actually might, what I might just do next is go cleany cleany everywhere oh there's trash here as well um, so I might do a little speedy up montage bit uh, for cleaning and go Right, so I think we've got all of the dirt apart from this little spot here, which seems to be impossible. Uh, so I can see it up there on my mini-map. There's a splodge of, of dirt there, but I can't get it. And It seems to be in this room. It says 94%, but it doesn't seem to matter what I do to this wall. It's not on the floor. So something's not right there. I don't know if that's... I know you can finish the... I know, she... I know you can hand in the job without being finished. But I think what we'll probably just do is we'll just move on to the next bit. So we'll... Uh, let's deal with these little puppies. So time to leave, people. Cockroachy cock people. It's alright though, you're not only going to the Hoover, so... It's going to go into the hoover and then I'm going to take you back to mine and then you can... I mean, I don't think this is really how you deal with cockroaches. Just hoover them up your normal general everyday hoover. 
Destroy the cockroach nest. Yay. To suck them all up. Imagine the, how many there would be all squashed into the hoover. That would be pretty disgusting. Please, no. Is that one down there? Yeah. Come on. Come to us. Engage turbo. Right. I love the fact that you just kind of like threaten them with it. You don't even really hoover. Same with the mop. You just kind of waft it around like Harry Potter. It's magic, magic mop and magic hoover. Enough cockroaches are eliminated. You destroyed the cockroach nest. Okay, good. So where are the rest of the cockroaches then? Because I don't remember seeing you. You're just not going to have it. You're just a. You're just bossing it. Thug life. Come on. Come on, cockroach. All right, get your friends. Oh, really? Is this not going to actually let me get all the cockroaches? Oh, there we go. Six out of six. Yay. Boom. All right, so not much more to do. I'll put all the furniture back in place as well. Uh, so we've got a radiator to mount over here. Clean the window, mount devices. All right, so let's do windows. Uh, that's not how you do that. You do it with this weirdy window hoover thing, of course. Which is so janky. I'm assuming there's an upgrade to kind of make this easier, but it's... Maybe you turn your mouse sensitivity down, it would help as well. Trying to get like sweeping motions is quite quite difficult. I think it's because it's is it inverted? Is that what it is? It looks like yeah, it's like inverted to the way that I use my mouse. Oh, this is so awkward. Alright, so let me deal with the windows, I'll bring you back. Alright, last one. Yeah, right, I'll just get an upgrade there so that got a little bit easier. Right, so looks like we've just got to Oh we've got a window still. Yeah, this is the last one. Sometimes it doesn't do the sound, which is good. Because the sound is a little bit annoying. Right, this is looking so much better. Right, so just gotta mount the devices. So we get a radiator for here. Does that not work? Is it not? Let me click on all four. That's so annoying. Um, I'm sure it let me click on all before. It doesn't let me seem to want to click on it now. Uh, so where is was it installations, wasn't it? So let's get one of these. I know you can only buy single radiators. Uh, I think that's because obviously you can only go through this process one at a time anyway. So that's that one done. Let's just put this back in a better spot just for the sake of it. Uh, I think we'll put it there. Okay, it looks better against this wall. Is that? That room's done. That room was done, was that? Was that right? Yes. Close. Or do we need another rotator in here? Bye. Something strangely satisfying about this, and I knew there would be. That's the heating done. Uh, so that room is done. This room. Buy another one. Yeah, so <coughs> a lot of this. Uh, Obviously, a lot of this stage is just the, just the grind of getting some money and getting some jobs and getting the skills and stuff done. 
and what I'm really looking forward to obviously is so this room is done yep is getting the uh, yeah getting the, the big houses renovations and all that sort of things so you're flipping your own houses because this isn't really I guess this is all just the sort of preamble to doing that uh, yeah just for the sake of it we're just going to tidy this up I'm starting to think about what they could more they could do with this game um, obviously they're about to put out the well, they've been saying they're about to put it out. It looks like that they're actually quite close to putting out the DLC, which is going to be um, for gardens and stuff. That's done. Um, which would be cool. Which would be interesting to see. Um, I think what they really need is more, kind of more stuff in there. That, uh, yeah, what they really need, I think, the thing that will make this game so much bigger i mentioned before was um would be uh oh i need to buy a sink here would be would be um opening up the workshop opening up modding oh what do i need here oh is this the toilet yeah what is this what's that then it's not a it's not a toilet oh it's a washing machine okay um yeah because it's the same as what i said about um i said in a previous episode a plate of car mechanic simulator um, and this is very similar to that i think it might even be by the same people i keep meaning to look it up um what would this be under home appliances washing machine bicycle um but when they when they bought out the the workshop i mean there was actually quite for quite a long time there was unofficial workshop content in that which you basically had to download and put into the game files sort of thing this is actually quite realistic i think you do have to remove this plate before you put a washing machine on um yeah so there were a lot a lot of people already downloading content or making mods and putting them in their game files sort of manually that's actually exactly what you have to do for a washing machine that's quite cool um so when they so they already kind of knew there was an appetite for for uh, modding and stuff it's just a bit i find a bit weird the fact that it, why is it it gives you the it lights up as blue until you click it and then it says no what's wrong what have i got to do surely it would be this wouldn't it where's the hose oh okay that's just a bit weird um Yeah, so once they actually and once they actually put out the, the content and the, the the workshop open the workshop up, there was a lot of a lot of people very quickly with mods available and stuff. So uh, what's that done? Um, and so for this, it would just seems like it would, it's an obvious it's an obviously quick thing for them to be able to do because uh, it would immediately just mean that people can start making making content for them uh what do we want of these let's go tiler not that we've got the tiling yet not that we've done tiling yet because yeah for this it would be it would be an obvious thing where people would be building new furniture and all these new decor pieces and that's what you're lacking from what i can tell it's just little ornamental things and stuff that just that make the game so much richer so much more visual and i think it's also it's quite it's, it's also from a sort of marketing point of view it's quite a clever thing to do because the more people you have generating content for your game and, and making things that are really cool and um, the more people see that and think well, what is that game and what can i like, when can i get that game sort of thing so i'm just going to look at the I think we're getting really close i think we're actually running a little bit long on this episode so um i never quite tell so this room i need to oh this room i need to clean as well 
hotel. There's probably some stuff hiding behind these cupboards somewhere, I guess. Uh, I assume it's not the graffiti. Oh, it is the graffiti. Oh, well, that was easy. We need to paint this room anyway. Remove trash. Oh, that poster. That's a shame. Paint white. Um, you, you don't actually also need to move the furniture to paint, which is also quite useful. <laughs> Not very, very realistic, but never mind. But yeah, they, I mean, it would make a big difference to this game, I think, if they had modding. So let's just paint these walls. Gonna need to buy some paint. It's got to be white, apparently. Ooh, single hopefully a single can will do it that's not it that's, that's not it that's what I need to do let's obviously the stereotypical student have painted it all black all right so let me finish this up guys I'll bring you back And we're done. All right, so that's that room done. We'll leave that there for now. Uh, so what we're we missing? Tasks in other rooms, four of six. So I wonder if it's just this. So this one we haven't done. Oh, we've got a radiator to mount here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. There it is. Oh, it's not that one, is it? I think it's the tail radiator. Yeah. I suppose the thing is once you've done some of these mountings as well you just kind of learn the order of things and it gets a bit I guess it can get a bit repetitive once you've done it a few times it seems like it's reasonably realistic in terms of obviously you're missing out loads of stuff that you would be doing in reality there but um, what do I do now turn it on these what we're missing I feel like it shouldn't light up blue. Is that? Oh, I've done it. I've done. No, it's not. One of two. Okay, so I've got to do something with this sink. Uh, sink. So bathroom. Mountable sink. that oh that's easy enough and the magic inside that's always the awkward bit of putting the sink on actually you need a basin spanner all right there we go push those in these are all plastic fittings by the looks of it uh, screw that on trap uh, waste that's the trap down there is that and that done so I think it is just looks like it's just going to be this bit of dirt here which is painfully annoying oh and that went amazing I wonder if that's because I upgraded my mop my mop so I've, so I've got rid of the old crappy broom now. I've got a better mop now. So that looks like that's it. I think we are done. Hurrah, hurrah. Flash the lights in celebration. All right, guys. So let's just um, close the door. Uh, and remember how we actually finish the job. I think it's enter. Three thousand pounds. Three thousand four hundred and eleven pounds. Hundred percent complete. I'm sure you want to complete the order. Yes, I am. Hooray! Alright, guys. So that's going to be an episode. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, my name is Toves, and I shall bring you back for the next episode. Take it easy.